Hey, what's going on? Come back, uh, got something to talk about. What's going on, Outdoor Cruise? Patrick Midton Outdoors. I'll step back so you can see part of me. Because <laughs> the main thing I want to talk about is this. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, I posted some pictures of this thing. Um, whenever this comes out, probably a couple weeks ago. But I pulled it out. It's an old Coleman Peak One backpack. And got to look at it. I mean, it's, I'd have to weigh it. It's pretty light. It's got the, uh, like the uh, polymer frame. Um, but one of the things I noticed about it and just happened to be playing around with it, it's got YKK zippers, which I know, you know, in today's standards, that's the zipper you want on stuff because they're, you know, supposed to be pretty good zippers. Um, Overall construction of the pack is still in really good shape. I put it on, it fits me really good. I was I was shocked that it fits me. Of course, I've lost some weight, so it, it fits me a little better, shall we say. A lot better, actually. Um, the only thing the pack is missing would be a chest strap. And I know you can probably get those and add it to it and go from there. Um, but overall, the pack's in good shape. The only problem with it are these two plastic deweys here are both broke, which I'm not too worried about. I even thought about um, maybe cutting the strings and just pulling them two pieces off altogether. You still have mounting points up here if you wanted to mount something up here. But if I'm going to use it for like hammock hanging, I don't need that up there. Only thing I need is to be able to put a sleeping bag down here at the bottom. Let me... Uh, crank you down a little bit but you'll look and see I mean the bottom all this down here is in good shape the strapping is still there I may have added some of that I don't know don't remember I've had this thing forever and it's really in good shape it had some strings and stuff and I just burn them down and you know that way they kind of stops them from doing anything it's got some spots here and there that you know got a couple snags and the little patch looks rough but I like this it's made in the USA I don't know if you can see that uh, I'll zoom it in a little bit but I mean without having to go out and buy an expensive backpack and um, why not repurpose something I've got uh, you can kind of see it. it says made in the USA right there but um, what do y'all remember of these things? Of the, the peak ones and the, I mean, this is the true old style, old school Coleman um, backpack, you know. I think the peak one stuff was probably the top of the line back then for the for their gear. Um, but you got very substantial pockets on the side. You've got a pocket here. And then once you go inside this thing, it goes all the way to the bottom. So it's fairly deep. Then you've got, you know, gathering straps to gather the gear up so that it's not just flopping around um, let me turn around real quick your they're not the best looking shoulder straps but I mean we're gonna be we'd, I'd be pretty lightweight as far as gear goes because I just take you know I take freeze-dried food probably See, I've still got the straps up here. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see. You can't see that. Oh, my God. These straps are still up here for having something on top, but I may lose them because um, I really don't need them if I do a hammock. So I'm just thinking. I mean, this is all in pretty good shape still. All this webbing and everything is still in good shape. It's not ripped. It's not uh, messed up. None of that stuff. Like I said, the belt's not the greatest in the world as far as, um, you know, it's decent, uh, but it would work for me. It would do what I need to do. And I, can, I need to adjust it and see where it needs to land on my back and everything before I do anything else with it. But, uh, you know, all the mounting points to the frame look good. I mean, none of them are ripped out 
or anything of that nature. So what do you guys think? What, what do you think? I mean, to keep from having to buy a pack, to do anything like that, to do any hammock camping, what do you think about using the old Coleman Peak one I've got here? I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. It's old Coleman. It's the true old Coleman stuff with, you know, made in the USA, not China crap. It's even got the, uh, this is crazy. I'm, I'm looking this thing over and I brought y'all out with me. Um, I might change the stream color from pink and looks like maybe green at one point or probably was black and it looks like it's faded to green. I could change those out. That's no big deal. <laughs> it doesn't even bother me that they're kind of faded and pink. Um, looks like back, black and pink back in the day. But I can change those out. I probably weren't on there to begin with. Or somebody's added them to them. So, leave your comments down below what you think. Um, I even got out my old um, Alice pack a minute ago and was looking at it and uh, pondering it. And I was like, no, there's no waist strap on it. And those things are just bulky and I don't know. So, I'm going to throw this up and let y'all tell me what you think. Words of wisdom, advice. Um, like I said, I'm looking at these, even where these mount up to the frame and none of it's pulled out or anything. It looks like it's pretty stable. Yeah, I mean, everything looks good. Everything looks, you know, the only thing these don't have and didn't have back then would be hydration spots. But, uh, I got a dragon snare from somebody that I can attach to it and keep my ball somewhere. Or I can come up with something else. I mean, I think I've got it. I've even got a, uh, I know what I got. I got another thing in the house that I can put on my, on the webbing, on the uh, waist belt that'll hold a canteen or a water bottle. So there we go. So leave me some comments down below. See what y'all think. And that's it for now. Be prepared.